Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to be reading in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians, I'm sorry, chapter 15, verse 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, starting at verse 12. The title of my message tonight is Because He Lives. And I don't know just exactly where God's going to take this. It seemed like He's been taking me in different places with it. So I just finally closed it up and said, Okay, Lord, I'm not going to look at it anymore. I'm just going to let you do what you want to do. Hallelujah. Now, if Christ be preached that He rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? Think about it. Now listen, and if Christ be not risen, then our preaching vain and your faith is also vain. There are some people that seriously really do not believe that the dead is going to raise. Surely they must not believe that the dead are going to raise and there's going to be an afterlife because if they truly believe that in their hearts, surely they could not continue to live in sin. Yeah, but the thing that confuses me, and, and I believe that's what Apostle Paul was trying to say, if you don't believe in the resurrection, if you don't believe there's going to be a resurrection, Ooh, yeah. then why do you even bother to believe in Jesus Christ? Oh, because if He had not raised, Come on. From the dead. Come on. Then our preaching. Come on. Then our faith Come on. Yes. would be in vain. I need you to really think about that tonight. How are you living? What does your life consist of on a daily basis? Are you talking to the Lord? Do you really truly believe that there's an afterlife? Come on. Come on. That there is a heaven. That there is a hell. Yes. And if you say, right. Sister Donna, I just can't see it, then tonight we are here for you. Yes. Yes. And on. we pray for you Come that on. God will help your eyes to be enlightened. That you will realize what Apostle Paul was saying. There is coming a resurrection. There is yes. a resurrection. Yes. Jesus is the resurrection yeah. and the life as yeah. we know. But He's telling us we've got to realize that there's coming a day when every one of us are going to be put in the ground unless we unless Jesus comes before we die. Every one of us have an appointment that we're going to keep. And I, really, I want to believe. I choose to believe. It really is a choice tonight that you choose to believe that there's going to be a resurrection, that there's going to be a trumpet that's going to sound, and it don't matter how many years you've been in that ground. It don't matter if you're in the deepest sea. It don't matter where you are when, when you die and lay down this whole body. When that trumpet sounds, God's going to raise you up. you choose. I pray that you choose. It's a choice. Amen. Grandma can't make you do it. Mom and Daddy can't make you do it. Sister Brenda, I can't make you do it. But I'm telling you tonight, it's got to be a choice yes. on yes. your end. And you've got to believe that Jesus is and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently 
really sink him. All right. I ask you tonight, do you believe that he is? Christ. 
you're a miserable being. Come on. Say that. Because this is such a short, short time. I got something here I want to read to you. Of course, the Sadducees said there was no resurrection. I don't know how many of you know who the Sadducees were, but they were a group of believers that did not believe in the resurrection. Now this is what's odd though. They had no hope of anything because they didn't believe in the resurrection. They had no hope of anything past this life. Can you imagine that? Sister Rachel says, oh God, no. <laughs> they had no hope in anything past this life. So this was it. This was what you were going to get, nothing else. Now the odd thing was, they followed Moses' law. They fasted. They were serious about, about trying to please the law. They prayed, they fasted, with their only hope being in this life. And that's why the scripture says, if in this life you have hope only in Christ, you're a miserable man. Because, Sister Brenda, my life hasn't begun yet. Do you all realize we're aliens? Do you all realize we don't belong here? We're aliens? So I believe there is going to be a resurrection. And I believe there's going to be a greater life than this one. Now I ask you tonight. I ask you tonight. Who wants to join me in that greater life? Who wants to join me in that greater life? Come on, let Jesus see you. Let him see you. Come I believe in the resurrection and the life of Jesus Christ, my Lord. God, I choose you tonight. God, I want to live for you. God, I want to serve you. I want to love you. Because I want that afterlife. I want that afterlife. Hallelujah, I want that afterlife. Oh, yes. Full of joy. Hope, peace. But now that Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept, for since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. Now listen, for as in Adam all die, even as in Christ shall all be made alive. Oh my Lord, because he lives, I can live. Because he lives, I can live.
read Romans 8 and 11. I just got a couple more scriptures. But if the Spirit of Him, and I just love this, if the Spirit of Him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, I ask Come you tonight, on. I ask you tonight, does the Come Spirit on. that dwell in Christ Jesus, yes. does it dwell in you? I ask you tonight, have you been filled with the Holy Ghost? You know we talk about the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We believe it, we teach it, we preach it. Oh, yes. He wants to kill, steal, and destroy 
I found it so sad the other day when a mama was on her way to court. Now, not too many days before that, she told me she got on to her young son for smoking a cigarette. Not too long before this, she said, I caught him. He got in trouble. He got in trouble. And the whole time she's doing this. She said, he got in trouble. And then, not too many days after that, she's on her way to court. The things she definitely shouldn't have been doing. I thought, oh God, what about our children? What about our children, parents? If we don't stand up, if we don't stand up and be the mom and dad we should be, if we don't stand up, be, don't tell your children not to do it when you're leading the flock. Come on, come on, mama, come on, daddy. You gotta stand up. You gotta be the example for Christ. Because the thief wants to kill, steal, and destroy your children. Amen. Come on. Don't blame it on the church. Come on. Don't blame it on the neighborhood. Come on. We got to stand. And I'm not saying that because your children are doing wrong, you didn't stand for the truth. I'm not saying that Come at all. On. I know better than that. But I'm saying some of us could stand to be better yeah. examples. Amen. And I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But this is what Jesus said. I am come. Yes. Yes. Come on. But I am yes. come. Yes. I am alive. Yes. Yes, God. And I am come. And because I live, I have come that your children might have life. Now I put your children in there. Yes. I have come that they might have life. Not just life, but they might have it abundantly. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Because He lives, we can live in abundance of grace, peace, Come on. love, Come on. life, and salvation. Church, we got the best of the trade. Yes, yes. yes Lord. Come on. The devil is lying to you saying you know you can't give it up. You know you can't do without it. And he has lied to you and making you believe that. But I declare to you today that through the power of the Holy Ghost, if you will yield your members to Jesus Christ tonight, He is here, He's alive, and He wants to deliver.